What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today, or I should say very recently, the Destiny 2 community unlocked an overall challenge during Season of the Haunted Season 17, and this was to complete 20 million overall nightmare containment activities as a community. And as a reward, as you can see, brand new fragments for Solar 3.0 have now been unlocked. But here's the thing, not everyone unlocked the same fragments due to this challenge completion, and that's because there was a couple of glitches at the launch of Season of the Haunted where some players unlocked these supposed to be locked fragments early, other players weren't able to get two fragments that were supposed to be available at the launch of the season and so on, so Bungie decided to, at this moment, unlock every single missing fragment for Solar 3.0 that you may have. So in this video, we are gonna be going over all of those six potential fragments that have now been unlocked for every single player out there and talk about what they do and some potential build synergies so you can start slotting them in and become even more powerful. And so let's get started. Now, first off, to gain access to these new fragments, you will have to go visit Ikora in the tower, buy them for 25,000 glimmer a pop, and then meditate. So, let's go over the four fragments that were supposed to be unlocked with this community event. Firstly, we have Ember of Empyrean. Now, what this says is that Solar Weapon or Ability Final Blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you, but you get minus 10 resilience. And now that resilience provides damage resistance in PvE, that's a bigger downside than it previously was. So, Right off the bat, I'm thinking, well, Radiant is incredibly useful boosting your damage, and if you can get it with something like Acrobat's Dodge for the Hunter, which is going to apply Radiant to yourself and allies, or the incredibly popular fragment Ember of Torches, where just a powered melee will make you and nearby allies Radiant, and then you can just start getting those solar weapon kills. There's a lot of great solar weapons, and extending that duration, you can really pop off. Not to mention, it goes very, very well with Rays of Precision, where while Radiant, Solar Precision Final Blows cause combatants to ignite. But again, that's only part of it. The other part is that restoration effect. So use it with incredibly popular and powerful things like Classy Restoration or Well of Life to extend the duration of that restoration and increase your survivability even more so. Now, the next fragment we have here is Ember of Char, and this says your solar ignitions spread scorch to affected targets. It also gives you plus 10 discipline for faster grenade regen. Now, this is very interesting because when an enemy takes enough scorch stacks, then they will ignite, causing an area of effect explosion for a little bit of extra damage. Now, this is very self-fulfilling. If you have something that applies scorch, that enemy is going to eventually ignite, and then once it does, it spreads more scorch, which causes enemies to build that scorch and eventually ignite, which causes more scorch. So you can really chain off with Ember of Char. And so I think this is a great addition into any build looking to scorch a lot of targets. What first comes to mind is Titans utilizing sunspots. Those cause scorch and those can really get out of control. Now those ignitions causing more scorch, it's just going to be nuts. Or if you're utilizing a weapon with the incandescent weapon perk that's also going to spread a scorch effect, yeah, that seems perfect with Ember of Char. But moving on from there, we have Ember of Ashes. You apply more Scorch stacks to targets. So essentially, you're going to get to that ignition explosion faster. Obviously, Ember of Ashes works very well with Ember of Char that we just looked at. And the applications are pretty much the same. Use it with sunspots on a Titan. Use it with that incandescent weapon perk to just get that ignition faster. And again, if you combine it with Char, spread even more Scorch stacks. Like, wow, that is going to get out of control quickly. But next up, we have Ember of Wonder. Rapidly defeating multiple targets with solar ignitions generates an orb of power and it gives you plus 10 resilience. 
honestly, with how good resilience is in PvE, providing that damage reduction bonus against PvE combatants, this getting you from 80 to 90 resilience literally could be worth it on its own. In addition to that, obviously more orbs of power means more supers, and right now, especially with the Gunslinger Hunter Blade Barrage, when combined with the knock em down aspect, and then particularly the Star Eater Scales Exotic Boots, that is incredibly powerful. That's going to do a massive amount of damage, but you need a ton of orbs to make that work, which is exactly what this fragment provides. There's also a couple of artifact mods that work really well with this fragment. Firstly, Solar Fulmination. Your ignitions do increase damage in an increased radius. So to spawn that orb of power, you do need to get the kill specifically with the ignition explosion. Obviously, this is going to make that significantly more likely. And you can also take a look at radiant orbs. Picking up an orb of power makes you radiant. So if you're spawning a bunch more orbs of power, this is going to chain that radiance quite a bit. And because of the energy costs, you can use this and solar fulmination at the same time to be spawning orbs because of that fragment, picking them up and becoming radiant. But moving on from there, we have two additional fragments to talk about. These were supposed to be available day one, but again, for a lot of people, they were not. So these were also unlocked for you if you didn't have them. And that is firstly, Ember of Eruption. Now this says your solar ignitions have increased area of effect and it gives you plus 10 strength. Well, that works very well with the artifact mod we literally just looked at, increasing the damage and the radius even more so. So obviously combine those two things and you're really gonna be popping off with ignitions. And then of course, you can use Ember of Wonder to now be producing orbs, like these things go very well together. And the last fragment we're looking at is Ember of Searing. Defeating Scorched Targets grants melee energy and it gives you plus 10 recovery. Obviously plus 10 recovery, very very good stat to have. And also this has some great synergies with Firstly, uh, if you're using a Titan and you're scorching a ton of enemies with those sunspots, being able to get potentially your shoulder strike or even hammer back faster is great. But really where this is gonna be amazing is with Warlocks using Sun Bracers. So these exotic gauntlets say increases the duration of solar grenades and solar melee kills grant unlimited solar grenade energy for a brief time. So that's right, get a kill with a powered melee and then you can yeet out like four or five grenades instantly. So obviously what this means is that if you have a grenade that gives enemies scorch, which a lot of them do, then you're getting your melee back. And so you can basically get a melee kill with the sun bracers, get infinite grenades, spam out like five, light everyone on fire, scorch everyone, and have your powered melee back already because of this fragment to just do it all again. Very, very fun in Nightmare Containment. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.